So since I put up the video about what's wrong with my injector pump in my diesel van that won't start, the most common thing people told me was that there's a little o-ring at the bottom of the accelerator pump shaft that runs through a little brass bushing and that that o-ring or whatever's in there is probably cracked and was already deteriorated so my recent messing around with it and adding gas to the diesel which I shouldn't have done I guess has maybe caused a problem and everybody's telling me it's a simple fix you just have to take off the top cap off the injector pump hold down the throttle shaft while you're doing that so it stays as part of the injector pump at the bottom and then replace the part. The only problem is I didn't set the marks on the throttle lever to that little shaft where there's little lines you can line up and so I'm gonna to have to do some trial and error if it runs afterwards to get the throttle set right so it idles properly and stuff like that. So I have removed four screws that hold that down and a little bracket that holds the accelerator accelerator cable. Remove the little clip that goes to the cold start advanced thing. And now I've maybe I have to tap that. Seems a bit stuck on. It's moving and it's pissing. Lots of juice. Oops, 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 oops. Well, now I've got to set the camera down because I've got to push on this while I'm lifting this off. Oops, there's a little spring in there. Ooh, I hope I didn't wreck it. Looks okay, I guess. So there's what it looks like inside. Even though it wasn't starting, it was quite full. That's weird. All right, there is no seal. Why did it start leaking? There's no o-ring on the shaft. There's nothing in there. Don't tell me for some reason it just sort of seals itself by the fact that it's a good fit. I don't know. Huh. No, I don't know what to do next. Upon closer examination I just found the little o-ring everybody's talking about. It's right there. That looks simple enough. Maybe I even have one in my kit. Oops. There it is. Well, let's see what I got. Time for a look-see. Bad news. Here's the closest one I got, and it's just a bit too big. I already tried to shove it in. Oh well, plan B, whatever that is. Well, I've reconnected the fuel line to reactivate the electric fuel pump that's in the tank. And since I got this puppy all apart, I'm pumping out the gas diesel mix. We'll fill up all three of those containers, because that's what it did last time. And before I try to restart this thing, and when I get that new O-ring, it's going to have all pure diesel in it. And I'll also do my best to flush out the pump too. So I'll let you know what happens when I get that O-ring from somewhere. <laughs> 